Hello, it's me again, Gregory Haney, La Cienega of Bringing On the Musical, and you are in my dressing room at the Amundsen Theater in L.A., our first stop on the Ten City Tour of Bringing On the Musical. Um, and I share a dressing room with Twig, a.k.a. Nick Walmack. So, this is his part. You know, very manly, jeans, bright colors. Um, we've got some jackets, a lot of jackets, actually. He wears a lot of jackets, I don't know how he does it. And then, you take a little left... And then you have this. These are all mine. <laughs> Most of mine. I think we're, they already started presetting, so half of them aren't here. But um, the funny thing I like to say about my costumes is that you're like, oh, so many pretty colors. And then all of a sudden you look at the first costume, and it looks like it should be on Nick's rack. But actually, in the first part of the show, in the very first number, I'm a boy. And I'm on stage for, I haven't even timed it yet, but it's a short, it's a short period. And then I run take my shirt off, hand my mic over, and then start getting into the colors and the tights and the feathers and sequence. It's kind of it's kind of brilliant. Um, the costumes in the show are so much the character that it's really hard to think of what else she would wear, um, which would probably be just about anything because La Cienega has no fear. Um, and neither should you. Uh, but my favorite costume is this one. This is my maxi dress. Now, I used to I used to think that, you know, girls wearing maxi dresses were, you know, they're just, I just wanted to throw something on. But it is the most comfortable thing I think I've ever worn. It's like, it's like going outside and being able to have, like, your robe on and nobody saying anything because it's pretty. <laughs> oh, speaking of robes, um, my... My robe for the show is quite different than everybody else's because La Cienega is a lady. And she's a lady of, of the finer things. So this nice blue furry number here is what I roam around the theater in when I'm not on stage. Um, and I actually have uh, leopard's uh, little booties to wear too. You know, it's all about comfort. Um, <laughs> so those are my costumes. And then I have this huge stockpile of shoes. These are my first heels that I get to wear. Now, being a woman in the show is hard because these heels, they might look little, but I'm doing a lot of dancing in these. And so my feet hurt a lot of the time. So I can only imagine when you guys have on like the six pair, the six inch pumps and you're walking on down a cobble street. I sympathize now. I could do it, but I still sympathize. <laughs> um, and then sure shoes, and then more colors, some sneakers, Brian Knight Jackson. Um, what else? Oh, you might want to take a little look at my makeup station. Ta-da! Now, I have an assortment of brushes, an assortment of blushes, a lot of lipstick, and my favorite colors right now are this blue... I don't know if you can actually tell because the light isn't right, but it's a really pretty blue. I kind of like to go back and forth between blue and purple. You know, neutral colors. A lot of lashes, and then a lot of accessories. We have a cheer bow, my butterfly. We've got some jewels. This is only half of them. Everything else is already preset for the show. Um, and then up here... We have my two wigs for the first act. This is the first wig that you see me in, and this is the Friday Night Jackson wig that you see me in. The little red number. I don't know if you can tell. And I have three wigs in the show. I have black, red, and a nice Whitney Houston brown. Not new Whitney Houston, older Whitney Houston. Back when I'm. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody. And. Last but not least, my cheer trophy, given to me by our fearless writer of the show, Tom, oh, not Tom, Jeff Whitty. Jeez, they leave me and then I forget their names, but Jeff Whitty gave this to us for our opening night gift. So, on that note, thank you so much for coming to my dressing room, and check out Bring it on the musical.